Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Welcome back to my 30 years of WrestleMania mode. Last episode, we it took us two tries to beat this triple threat match. And in this episode, we are finally getting back to the one-on-one -on -one matches between the other title match at WrestleMania 25. Wipe in which in which quite possibly is the more most, most personal storylines I have ever seen in my life. This is Triple H versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. This is the one where they, Triple H faced Randy Orton, who won the Royal Rumble match, by the way, and he chose which he RKO'd, which Randy RKO'd Stephanie, which enraged Triple H and pretty much sealed it that he will use his title opportunity against him. Then... Triple H came out with a sledgehammer and attacked Orton. The following week, Orton attacked Triple H with handcuffed him to the top rope. Stephanie came out and not instead Triple H helped as Orton DDT Stephanie. So let's go. Hopefully, is there, is there a video package? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and also at the Royal Rumble, the, the fireworks botched because when he pointed it, it didn't work right away. And there you see the reason why he chose Orton for revenge. For Triple H on Triple H. Triple H, so let's go. You say, but where rules are again. That's right, and after, if we complete all the uh, hidden objectives, historical objectives, we will get, we will get the WrestleMania 25 arena. And here comes the game. 255 pounds, the WWE. By the way. This hasn't, he hasn't held the WWE Championship since then. Now he's a part-timer. But what am I saying? He's no longer a part-timer. He's now full-time a CEO. And he's probably confident he may bring Sting back this time. Yay. So, let's go. Epic. So this will be our last 30th anniversary, 30 years of WrestleMania mode, because we're going to slow it down leading up to, leading up toward WrestleMania 30. So we're going to slow these down here, so we're going to do one WrestleMania at a time before WrestleMania 30. So that's what the plan is at this time. Here we go, we're playing as Triple H again. That's right, he had to be Chris Benoit for it. Or in WWE, he's known as He Who Shall Not Be Named.
Ugh, jeez. And besides, I think this was the this is the last WrestleMania that actually uses the blue rope. I think. Figure four. Okay, we got to do is perform a spine buster and perform two pedigrees. Not too difficult, but there's a da -da -da -da, hidden objective. Fine, Buster. Tell him to suck it. Here we go. Pedigree numero uno. One down, two to go. One, one down, one more to go. Yeah, I ruined your comeback, Randy. Oh, I got another signature. We can wrap this up very quickly. And have this be a quick episode here. Again, tell Randy to suck it. By the way, what's the sec first one? Uh-oh. Look out, Randy. Pedigree. Wait. Wait, I have to perform another pet. Oh. One, two, three. Got it. And this is a short episode. Your winner and still the WWE Champion Triple H. No, no, it wasn't. It was just a bloodbath. So there we go, we got WrestleMania 25 Arena. That confirmed it, so let's head to the next, let's head to the next run, and how fitting, we got three matches here at WrestleMania 26, which we will cover next time. So see you guys then, later folks.